Burke wants Borboran all by his lonesome. Big boy move there by Perkins. Abueva hands it off the right again. 16 points in the game for Matthew. He'll turn and make that pass. Nasira name rhythm, just a quick uh, turnaround and uh, opening. And the coach Jeffrey Carriazzo to score, eluding the defense and scoring an end one opportunity for him. Nago, <laughs> ito si Boss Boogs nandito ngayon. Um, as, I, as I was saying, this mga videos ko has been making moves from the comfort of his home. <laughs> Walang ka problema problema dyan lang sa bahay niya, wifi lang kailangan, tsaka cellphone niya. <laughs> but, like what you said off air. Sorry, ngayon ko lang na record eh. But like what you said off yeah. air. Si Coach Topix na bahala. Nagawa mo na yung ano mo. Yeah. <laughs> Kung baga, nabuo mo yung team. I have so many questions na yeah. sobrang curious ko sa mga ginagawa ninyo. Kasi sobrang... Maraming curious eh. Maraming diba curious. boss? Kaya nga gusto Maraming ko nandito ka kasi sabi ko, pag dito, maririnig galing sa'yo. Hindi ka makukote. Ah. <laughs> sa'yo mismo mong gagaling. Pero, boss books, um... Unang una, I just wanna congratulate you first dun sa, dun sa recent moves mo. Especially with the last two trades na, ano eh, uh, league, league changing, to be honest with you. League changing. You think so? Yeah. Ako well, like, like I said, yeah. Like I said, it only, it'll only be league changing if and when we start winning. Yeah. And as management, diba? although we're always in constant coordination with Coach Topex, we really just want to put him in the best position yeah. to coach and to, you know, to succeed. And kudos then sa top management, di ba? Kay boss, boss RTZ, boss Dennis, for supporting coach. Yeah. And yeah, na now coach, you know, he he wouldn't have it any other way, di ba? Pressure sa kanya, but you know, that's his job and he'll, he'll embrace it for sure. Oh. So oh. we're all excited. Pagdating na season, kung ano mangyayari. <laughs> oh, naman. Yun lang naman eh. At the end of the day, I think, coach, I think coach Topix is just right for that job na talagang he has a strong team he's had strong teams before na talagang nilead niya and knowing Coach Topex Coach Topex is one of the best players coach out there na talagang yeah. mapabaya ka and a lot of players want to play for him and enjoy playing yeah. for him Pero I think he has a big he has a big advantage kasi um, our new pickups namely Chris and Vic player niya dati. previous ano niya, players niya dun sa Alaska so may advantage dun. it's not like he's starting from square one yeah, so that's... yun yung ano na yun how long was this whole process? <laughs> well, the fact that um, nobody knew about yung the first trade, yung kay Calvin, kay Chris, it's out of nowhere, really shows na it, it wasn't really a long time, you know, decision process. It just sort of fell in our laps and we grabbed the opportunity. So pretty much ours lang yun, negotiation, ours, spoke, kanyan, have it approved. It's out there. So oh. nobody had time. There was no incubation period. Nobody had time to, le to leak out information or anything. So um, it wasn't ano talaga. Like I said also in that interview was we were really ready to build a long-term relationship mm -hmm. with Calvin. But then, you know, we were always constantly trying to question na parang sustainable ba to? Ano ba to? With the future years to come? Is it really ano? And then the opportunity of Chris in a, in a, in a, in a lottery pick. So to speak, though, yeah. came into the picture. All of a sudden, it's like, oh, now you have to weigh it. Yeah. Right? You, you can grow old with this one. You can have, you can have, you can know without the excess baggage. So you know, after much discussion, a brief discussion, we took the opportunity, and that sort of paved way for the second trade. Oh wait, because now, boss, so hindi yun connected. Um, hindi masyado. Um, although the offer was there. Sabay, sa medyo nag-overlap yung offer. But then, if it was just one or the other, parang medyo nag -ano pa kami. But now that, that we got the first trade, and then they wanted, they were eyeing our lottery pick. But then, it wasn't really, you know, we didn't give it up eh. Kasi parang uh, nag-swap lang kami. We still got the seven pick, which is still the same, you know. Uh, you know, it, it, medyo pareho lang yun eh. So, the, we felt like we didn't lose a lot. And it just will put us... a in a better position. And looking back at it, we really got the pieces. Diba? We lost the big one in Calvin, that's for sure. But we got the pieces na kailangan talaga ng team namin, which was in the last conference. Um, we needed really a point guard finisher. Because uh, I, I don't know if you saw our last games, pagdating ng mga fourth quarter, Matthew Wright's bringing down the ball and he's creating his own shots. And I know. So um, I think with the influx of Chris, take the pressure off of him, you know, defense will have to choose now who to guard. 
And then we have a lot of shooters, and I think Vic will complement that as well because with his threat, even Justin Chua will get open. Oh, sure. Perkins will get open. Matt will get open. Everybody will get open. So, you know, it's it's really, like I said, Yun, just mahala na si Coach Topex, how he, uh, the pieces are there. We're in, a, we're in a very good position, so he just has to make sure that, you know, we, we, we gel together at the time and they, you know, they play well together. Hopefully, we get more success. It wasn't like you were shopping Calvin Abueva around. It wasn't. Kasi talagang, sabi yeah, mo, talagang we, we ready really kayo na shopping. sa atin na si Calvin. Yeah. We, uh, um, January, we signed him. Long-term, yeah. three-year contract. Yep. And if we were shopping him around, I'll tell you, in, in our industry, lalabas at lalabas yun. Oh, yeah, for sure. A, if you talk to more than two teams, may umiikot na, oh, medyo ano na yan. Mm-hmm. But we weren't. And that's why there was there was nothing on the radar until all of a sudden this this big opportunity came. So we grabbed it right away. And then in less than 24 hours, nandun na yun. You were talking about yung Alaska trading away Vic Manuel. And technically, tama kayo. Sixth and seventh pick aren't really that big a difference. And also, you traded away like a solid point guard din naman in Brian Heruela. But if yes, you think yeah. about it, I was also saying na Alaska and Phoenix are standalone teams na you don't like dealing with drama na eh. Like kunyari, meron din silang sarili nilang Vic Manuel contract. Ano eh, parang saga na nangyayari. Kasi yes. yung may sa inyo, kahit papano, si Calvin, alam naman natin, like... Super out there, super, diba? Mm-hmm. Animated guy. Meron ding drama na nangyayari. And I think both teams are more of, can we just focus on basketball? Parang ganon. Yeah. Diba? I think at the end of the day, yeah, at the end of the day, you that's what you really strive for. But siyempre, some players, they have their own issues. And for a time, you really want to take it. So when we took him in, diba? We, we want to feel like, okay, maybe maybe his his on court, what he can contribute will really outweigh. And we just have to manage it off court. And we tried that, you know, for two years. But, you know, I think it took a toll, especially when he was suspended for about 16 months. Yeah. And, you know, we weren't getting anything. So will we do it? Will we do it all over again? Diba? If you tell me that it's going to be the, the like the bubble again and we're going to be succeed and everything's so nice, diba? we're winning, of course. But if you ask me, are you going to risk everything again and lose 16 months? Probably not. So with this opportunity, I think we have less risk and we have a higher chance of succeeding also. I always looked at the first trade as win-win for everyone. Because I'm sure Magnolia yeah. is happy with Calvin. Calvin is happy also to be able to, you know, compete yeah. again. Sa Everyone, state. Everyone's happy. Yeah. Everyone's You're happy. Yeah. Lahat nang nakita ko, even I'm sure Chris din. Parang, oh, I, I'm finally in a team na hindi ganun kadami yung point guard na yeah. point makakalaro si Chris Banchero. And finally, he can be That's the top true. point guard. Yeah. And of he course, will own that position. Yeah, he will own that position. And what he does with that position is up to him, you know. That's very um, it's up to him to perform and you know to make make a big impact. Um, the, you know, he it's not like it's not like there are other positions. You know, yeah. um, of course we have other guards. We have RJ and RR, but they know their roles and they're very effective at it. And uh, but Chris, you know, um, you know he'll he'll definitely own that position and he'll be side by side with Map and, carrying this team also. Oh, ang guapo na ng team niya eh. Pero <laughs> boss books yung talking about si Chris Banchero, I hmm. think now overshadow siya nung Calvin Abueva kasi like people are saying like yeah. Luge, hindi nila naintindihan that yeah. I was saying uh, uh, boss books I th- I'm sure you know this but Chris Banchero low-key is a smaller Calvin Abueva the way he plays sobrang aggressive sobrang patayan sabi ko mamaray yeah. di makipagpalitan ng mukha kahit lugi siya eh. totoo hmm. lang eh. <laughs> yeah. he's, a, he's a tough guy on, on a willing defender siya hustle player um, you know, strong for his for his yeah. size, diba? So you're right. He's a he's a he's a Calvin Abueva for that, I know. And he's he's very scrappy also. And mm. it's the kind of player that Coach Topic is also looking for. And more importantly, it's a, it's a position we really need. We're in dire need of. So I think that's the bigger thing that you know, in terms of basketball and professional sports, sometimes it outweighs yeah. the talent that you have on positions that you have multiple options of. So yeah. if you have need something which is you know, plus you get a draft pick. A lottery pick. Oh, so, and sabi huge ano for us. Naisip ko nga, it's not always the talent. Siyempre, kung mag-mix well din sila. How is that conversation like with Coach Topex, honestly? Because I know Coach Topex and Calvin. Ano na yun? Tatay-anak yun eh. How is that yeah. conversation? I'm sure nahirapan lunukin ni Coach Topex yun. But he was also thinking of the team, di ba? Yes. How is that like? Um, I- um, ano talaga? One of was it? It was really one of the hardest decisions, not only for Coach Topex, for management. Because, diba, with what Calvin also naman contributed, especially in the last bubble. But at the end of the day, we still have to 
think about what's best for the team overall and what's best moving forward in the future. Mm-hmm. And even Coach Topex, you know, as 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 much of a personal relationship he has with Calvin, he he's also a professional yeah. and he has to think of his duty. And his duty is to put 15 guys in the team to be in the best position. And you know, yun nga, the, this 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 decision to get the trade was for us at the time the best decision. Oh, and and dun sa, I know that Coach Topex is really close to the players, but at the end of the day, very professional naman si Coach Topex and would love yeah. to, you know, importante sa kanya is really manalo. Importante, yeah. So una, nung nag-trade for Magnolia and uh, kayo, butas kayo sa tres. Butas kayo sa tres nung una. Yeah. Kasi yeah. nawala si Calvin, yeah. which was your starting three, di ba? Who was right, your starting right, three? Yeah. Perk is your starting four. So right. I was always, I was already thinking that in the draft, baka kumuha sila ng tres. Yes, that's 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 definitely right. Of course, that was we're, we're that was supposed Calvin. to be the plan. Supposed yeah. to be. Yeah, I mean, if if that. If we ended up with that, we're gonna get a three, a three guy in a talent-rich draft. We're okay, but oh, then you know man. the Vic Manuel was really looming there, and we said we said ourselves if we can get him, we will be more than okay. Yeah. So sure. either way, win-win pa rin siya. So even if we got Chris and the six pick without Vic, we, you know, at the start we we were still okay, but you know Vic of course made us but, much much better in a much but, better position, and we still get that same pick, just one one pick down. Yeah, um, I don't I don't yeah. think naglalaba naman kaya ni Alaska ng pick. Eh. I don't think same. Yeah. Actually, actually it actually depends eh. uh, a, a big a big factor will be that that deadline for the Philams oh when yeah they yeah, submit yeah. the thing there's a couple of players I think Coach Jeff and Coach Topex are looking at the same one it's the same one pag so. may Taylor State ang bigla doon doon medyo masakit uh, <laughs> pag may <laughs> mga ganon <laughs> yun medyo pag masakit Taylor niya no. <laughs> pag pag may... ko, ah, kilalo ko na yan Taylor State <laughs> Kasi yung Mikey Williams, alam ko hindi aabot eh. So, <laughs> sure ka, alam ko hindi aabot yung sigurado. Kasi yung Raynor siya, hindi pa palampasin yun. Pero yung Taylor Statham, baka mag-6. Ah, medyo, medyo mararamdaman. Yeah, yeah. We, we have to wait and see though what, what yeah. his status is. You know, there, there, there's, a, there's a bunch of them. Hopefully naman, mabigat sila ng chance. But we'll see. Oh. We'll see. It's really up to the, the PBA and its board. But now, coach, on a basketball perspective, ano, ano na to, last few questions na to. On a basketball perspective, on the court, now that you have Vic, Ke- uh, Kendrick Perkins tuloy. Jason Perkins is somewhat kumbaga coming out of his own na talagang nagiging superstar yeah. na rin sa sa liga. Yeah. How do you how do you guys uh, how do you think that dynamic will work? Because those are two fours. I was already thinking magte-tres ba si Jason? Yeah. Kaya? Kaya ba? I, th- I think um, si Jason has played three before especially in import conferences. Mm. And throughout the years, we've really been molding him to be a tweener. Three and four, he has to be flexible. Kasi the PBA, sa three conference, two of them import, import. conference. And the conferences are, are are fours. The imports are six, fives, they're fours. So Jason, if he can't play a three, diba, ma, he, w- he will be masasapawan siya ng, ng import. So he should be able to adjust. And I think he's on his um, fourth year now. Uh, third or fourth year, I think he, he's he's adjusting well. Um, but more importantly, Jan, it's it's really the dynamic of how Coach Topex will will preach in this team. You know, you we can't have, of course, five first options. That's for sure. So even even if you're, you know, we, we see that they're 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 top players, they're great players, but even how good they are, they still have to um understand what their role is in terms of the dynamic, especially in that first five. So if they figure that out, if Coach Topex figures that out, I think we'll have a good team um, in the long run. Yung team, yung players mismo, how excited are they that you've made these moves? I'm sure na- nalungkot sila nung una, yung kay Calvin. No? Close sila kay Calvin. Yeah. Eh. Pero yeah. like, as you move on from that, how excited are they? Naano nyo na ba? Na-zoom meeting nyo na ba lahat? Or like, nakausap nyo um, na ba? Not, not yet, not yet. Um, ako hindi pa ako nakapractice. Kasi the practice rules are coaches lang and players. No? But from what I hear, they're very excited. Um, Matt has been posting um, stuff about, you know, uh, Dream First Five and all that. I'm sure they're, everybody's very excited to get on the court Hindi pa rin eh, you know, unfortunately to the situation. It's all just shooting and ano. But, you know, I'm sure as as soon as 5-on-5 five five is possible and as soon as we get into the court, you know, I'm, I'm confident that, you know, the, the, their, their, excite, their excitedness and, and all that, um, um, you know, bent up, parang naipo na, gusto nila maglaro, they, it'll just come out. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited as well to see how this whole thing will pan out. Para kang nagpa-fantasy basketball sa bahay ko. Ay, boss, sa totoo. Para kang nagpa-fantasy basketball yeah. na I know, I, I just want again, no, I just I just want to give credit. Si Coach, Coach Topex and its coaching staff. They, 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 every day they they zoom meet and they analyze, you know, not not just the trades but free agency, draft picks, draft prospects. 
and it's really cool to them to bring together and for top management to to support their decisions you know ano lang ako taga taga facilitate lang ako naman naman tayo ikaw lang taga, taga print, ano taga print out lang ako ng papel eh, ikaw lang taga harap sa media ikaw <laughs> taga harap ikaw taga explain bakit taga, kanya nang galawan oh, but, boss, it's, but it's really ano credit to coach and uh, to top management uh, boss last so sino nga ang ano wala pa kayong final ano sa draft number 7 wala pa Number sino, seven. Sino ang tinitignan nyo? Sige na, Number boss. Number seven. Na. Well, you know, I'm, I'm gonna name seven names. Out of the out of those seven names, not bad, di ba? For sure, di ba? Diyan sila, Munson, Malonso, Alam mo namang diakot sa iyo yung boss, eh. William. Tinatanong ko sa iyo yung iniisip mo nga. Santillan. Santillan. Yeah. Basaol. Muyang. Adamos. Then you have Gray, Brickman, mm. Manuel. That's, that's, that's ten already. Okay. We're 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 okay with with a lot of those, you know. So But what position are you looking at na lang? Wag na lang yung pangalan. Like what yeah. position are you looking to fill? I think I think um well kasi looking at it yung guards, yung medyo yung guards makukuha sa top eh. Yung oh, wala na, guard, wala na yung Munson, wala na yun. Yeah, Munson, even Mikey, even wala Williams, na rin. Wala I think rin. Mikey. Mikey Reyes lalo wala hey, na. Eh, lalo na walang wala na talaga. <laughs> Napili na yun, first pick na talaga yun. <laughs> no, yeah, uh, forward, versatile forward. We're looking at that. Um, someone who can come in, play maybe three and four, and pag small ball, you can come in for Justin also. And mm-hmm. there's a bunch of them in that group. And uh, we, we, we like our options. Yun lang masasabi ko. Uh-huh. We like our options. Oh, so yung mga tweener dyan, mga Alvin Pasao, Leonard Santillan, mag-isip-isip yeah, na kayo, mag yeah, na kayo. Yeah. <laughs> Hindi natin yeah. ipapangalan kung sino, pero <laughs> at least alam natin. Eh, nagtataka talaga ako yeah. ang position ang i-fill mm-hmm. ninyo. Pero solid, yeah. ay, solid boss. Yeah. Grabe yun. But, but for sure, he'll be an impact player. Uh, someone who can, who can con- contribute. You know, he could start. No? But for yeah. sure, uh, as a rookie, he'll understand his role coming off the bench. You know, coming off and come and, and replacing Matthew Wright, Perkins, or Manuel. But you know, I think the the bigger decision, madali lang first round eh. The bigger decision is is our 18th and 19th pick. Yan ang medyo dapat mas discerning yung ano yung coaches dyan. And ano, I think if if we can get a diamond in the rough, de ba? Steal of the draft, de ba? De okay kami. Oh, yung mga um, tipo. Ito really see yun yun hindi ko na alam. Ito really see ko sino matitira doon. But... And that's the type of pick na dunamis mo sa mesa. Eh. Dunamis mismo sa mesa. Yo. Doon mo na pipick yun eh. Depende Marami na. Marami mga cross out na doon kung ano maiwan. Oh, oh, kung ano lang coach's oh, preference doon. Yeah. Seventh pick is, in, especially in a draft like this, meron ka talaga makukuha it's a lot, it's agad, a lottery. Yes. agad yeah. contribute agad. Agad din. Yes. And yes. meron kayong mga, yung Frankie Johnson din nandun mm-hmm. eh. Pero more of a Matthew Wright is parang Yeah. We'll, we'll see. Na. Frankie Johnson, I don't know kung abot na second round. But but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. He's, he's very talented. I see. I'm, I know I'm, him. I'm very excited for, for you guys. Yeah. So, is this the last transaction that we can? Kumbaga, <laughs> mukhang meron pa siyang fantasy basketball no, 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 no. na nagagawa. Like, like, like I said, we, we don't really, we're not really pursuing, especially like this one, like I said, diba? wala naman sa plan. What, what we are uh... constantly on the lookout for is, is we want to have a competitive lineup year in, year out. And if, you know, we're always on the lookout for good offers, uh, for good talent, if there's something on the table. But right now, you know, we, we like we like our lineup. Yeah. You know, we're, we're not about to give anyone away. Uh, but like I said, if there's a good offer, a better offer there, we're always out there to explore uh, and see, you know, if the coaches like it, top management likes it. And if they like it's a long-term positive thing, then, you know, we, we just might make that, some decisions. So, in short, hindi ikaw yung nagpo-propose ng trade. Taga ano ka lang, nire-review mo lang yung mga yes, pinropose review. sa'yo. Review, review, review yes. lang. <laughs> compare, compare lang. Boss, compare. salamat sa oras mo, boss. Ha? And congratulations, boss. Ha? Thank congratulations. you, thank you. Ingat ka, boss, dyan. Ingat ka sa ano, ha, mga again. pandemic. Thank you again. Anytime. Ingat, Anytime. boss. Ingat ka, boss. And congrats. I'll see you soon. Ha? Congratulations, Pag, uh, boss. Pag pwede na. Thank you, boss. Oh, Pag pwede na. Thank you, bye-bye, boss. Ingat bye-bye. ka, ingat ka, boss.